Hello, this is Tom, a.k.a. Jed in here for Tabletop Taproom. Today we've got some news for the community, a little bit of a scoop uh, I'm going to get to release, uh, although <laughs> there's already been a post, and I do believe that the uh, Kickstarter pre-registration has gone live. But uh, I just want to say thanks for watching the video. Thanks to my subscribers. You guys are great. You know the deal. Hit the click, uh, subscribe, and like button. Help me build the channel. Uh, well appreciated. And uh, normally this is the point where I would go, and let's just get a word from my sponsor. Uh, yes, I'm really grateful that uh, I have a sponsor. And, uh, you know, that they've uh, they've been supporting me and uh you know, I appreciate that because I haven't monetized on on uh, YouTube yet, and you know, it's it's just this long climb. You just gotta keep at it, keep at it. It'll happen. Uh, I'm not worried about it, but I appreciated somebody saying, "Hey, we just thought it'd be great if we, rather than spend money on advertising, that we just s support somebody we like." And and so Gloomer Games did that. They came alongside, and um, I had supported their Kickstarter. And uh, they've, they're just great guys. Uh, so I just have appreciated them. And I've interviewed them and had them on the channel a couple of times. So, you know, this is the point where I would go, let's do this. And so let's just run a little clip. To you by Gloomer Games Mystic Days, the Caldwell Edition. The Kickstarter includes four hardbound books, Monsters and Mayhem, Magic and Treasure, Player's Book, and Adventure Guide. OSR style, six classic stats, no character classes. You build the character you want, no initiative to slow things down, no OP characters, and death is always on the table. You roll the cast, failure could lead to an explosive catastrophe, and every weapon is unique. Pull arms get the place they deserve with every weapon having a reach modifier. And monsters are bestial and not humanized. With fantastic cover art by Clyde Caldwell, this is old school old gaming, gaming the way you remember. Links yeah. below. I don't know what's going on with the uh, little hiccups there in the sound, but... Uh, Gloomer Games, yes, they their their Kickstarter's wrapping up, and uh, they've done well with this Clyde Caldwell edition. And if you're one of the people that had that jumped on the, I want the signed box. Uh, just so you know, they were very generous. They were like, um, uh, they were like, we're splitting half the money for the signed box with Clyde Caldwell. So they were very generous, very generous terms with him. And, uh, and, and I just, you know, and that got me excited about them even more so. Cause they're like, you know, they're, 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 uh, they're doing, they put a Jeff Easley clause in their contract with him that said, we will in no way uh, erase or crop out your signature from your artwork. And I just thought that was kind of cool in class, a little bit of a poke at somebody we famously know that did that over a Dungeons and Dragons movie, but uh, I just thought it was a classy thing to do. And they're, they're going, they're bending way over backwards to say, we appreciate artists and we want to treat artists right. And I love that in, in a game company. I absolutely love that in a game company. Now the news I have today kind of uh, dovetails off of that because Andy Thomas over at Gloomer Games has got a little side project that he's working on, and let's go right to that. Uh, so this is um, Mystic Days, um, the uh, Earth, uh, the Brutal Lands campaign setting, and it is a Clyde Caldwell piece of artwork. Now, this is a special piece of Clyde Caldwell, because here's the news. This is unpublished Clyde Caldwell artwork. Now, it was painted in the 70s, so it goes all the way back to the roots of our hobby. And um, it was actually painted as a cover for a novel. That novel was called Elac of Atlantis. I've seen the actual cover that was used for that novel. And let me tell you, whoever made that choice to not use Clyde Caldwell, you lost, buddy. <laughs> Hey, you lost. Uh, this is a fantastic uh, uh, piece of art. Never been published by Cl Clyde Caldwell. Now going into print. Um, 
So it's so let me let me tell you about this this piece of art. It is one of two uh, paintings that Clyde Caldwell did on Masonite. And I, I found that really funny because uh, I've actually painted on Masonite. Uh, I had an art commission several years ago, and actually the individual that uh, commissioned me to paint that uh, piece of art um, just friend requested me on Facebook. It turns out he's now living in Florida. So, you know, shout out to Kev. Hey, buddy. Um, so, yeah, uh, I've actually painted on Masonite. And I, I, I was like, oh, that's so cool. He painted painted on masonite um because you know you've, you've got the slick side and then you got the rough side you can use the rough side the paint that uh, adheres to it nice uh, so and it was one of his biggest that he ever painted uh he no longer owns the original but i guess he owns the rights to the image to be able to license it because he actually did license it to be used uh but that a uh, person that licensed it never actually published it is my understanding. So this is an unpublished Clyde Caldwell art. Um, the subject here is, uh, is his friend. Um, and it's from a, a, that his friend was visiting and I guess they did a photo shoot and this was a pose. This guy struck and, 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 and again, you know, this is the seventies. Let's, Let's zoom in a little bit here. Look at that mustache on that barbarian. <laughs> it's, it says 70s. <laughs> if nothing else, the mustache says 70s, clearly. Um, and one other piece of uh, trivia here is that Clyde believes that this is quite possibly the first dragon he ever, he ever painted. And so that's cool. So here we are. Uh, this is a piece of artwork from the very infancy of our hobby from the 70s. And one of the veteran artists uh, made famous through TSR Inc. back in the day, uh, Clyde Caldwell, who certainly um, well known to many of us of a certain age. He colored our imagination uh, covers for modules and covers for dragon magazines. And here is the very infancy of the very, very beginning of the hobby. One of his first dragons he ever painted. He believes this is, is quite possibly the first one he ever painted. Um, and so this artwork is now going into production, being printed by Gloomer Games uh, as the cover of their campaign setting that has been written by Andy Thomas. And uh, the Kickstarter pre-registration is starting off this week. So that is the piece of news I wanted to, uh, uh, they gave me a chance to have the scoop on it and release that to the community. So I was so excited. And I want to thank Andy uh, and Gloomer Games for uh, their patronage uh, and for you know, this little scoop, this, cause this is just cool. I'm like this totally enamored of this. This is really mad cool. So uh, this is Tom for Tabletop Tap Room signing out with a gorgeous piece of art. And uh, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Check out the, uh, the links in the show notes and check out the campaign setting. This is probably a Kickstarter you might want to jump in on.